For today's problem, we're going to use integration by parts to solve the following integral. So we know the integration by parts formula is u v prime is equal to the integral of u v minus the integral of u prime v. So we're going to set natural log of x equal to u, and we're going to set x squared equal to v prime. And then we're going to use the tabular method, and that's where you set up a table. And the first column of that table is going to be our derivative, our dvx column. And the second column will be our integral column. So in this first column, we will put the natural log of x. And in the second column, we'll put x squared. And we're going to put a positive sign here. And this positive sign is really represents this positive sign right here. And then for the next row, we're going to have a minus sign. And to complete the next row, we're going to take the derivative of this natural log of x, and you get 1 over x. And then you take the integral of x squared, which gives you x cubed over 3. So again, we know that this is u, and we know that this is v prime. And so this became u prime, and this became v. So now we have everything we need to substitute into our integration by parts formula. So u times v is just the product of these two functions, natural log of x and x cubed over 3. So we have x cubed over 3 times the natural log of x minus the integral of u prime. And here we go. It's just 1 over x. And then v, which again is x cubed over 3 dx. So again, let me rewrite this. We have x cubed over 3 natural log of x minus, and I'm going to pull out the one-third, so we have a one-third integral, and x cubed over x is just x squared dx, and then again, let me rewrite this first term, and then we can just integrate x squared, which is easy to do. That's just x cubed over 3 times one-third, which gives us x cubed minus x cubed over 9 plus c.